welcome to the latest edition of Clan TV. We are joined today by our number 20, Drew Miller. We can only say that for one more time, that he's ever number 20, he's got, as he's going to be returning um, to his hometown of Detroit just soon. We've had the pleasure of having Drew with us now for the last three months. We've been one of the luckiest teams in the EIHL to keep hold of one of our NHL stars for the full quota. Um, so Drew, how has your time been with us? No, it's, it's been great. Um, on the ice, off the ice, everything's been, uh, everyone's treated us great. Um, I got a chance to travel around Scotland and, and uh, see some really cool uh, castles and, and Loch Ness and stuff like that. And, um, and at the rink, everyone treated me great. Uh, I think from the day one, the guys accepted me into the team and, uh, and uh, I just tried to come in every day, work hard and, and kind of help out the, the younger guys a little bit if I yeah. could. Um, but other than that, I mean, the experience has been amazing. Um, if I had a chance ever to do it again, I would definitely come back. And, and uh, I mean, from the, the guys in the locker room to the staff to the fans, I mean, everyone treated me great and I had a great experience. I mean, I remember when you first came and we asked you, like, what are your expectations? Do you know much about the team? And back then you were like, well, I've read a little bit about it and, you know, I'll have a look at Scotland and see what it's got to offer. Are you glad that you came? Do you think you've achieved something that you maybe wouldn't have achieved if the lockout hadn't have happened? Yeah, I think uh, I think definitely coming here was a big positive for myself. Um, I mean, definitely with the lockout, you you want to find a place to play, and, and uh, I mean a lot of guys went different places and yeah. didn't have as much of a, I wouldn't say a good time, but they were a little bit less fortunate than I think that I was uh, coming here and and uh, having a great time with the guys. And uh, I got a chance to play a lot of minutes. Uh, and I think the biggest thing is my, my role in Detroit is way different. I play third, fourth line, I grind, uh, chip the puck in, and I don't play a lot of offense. Um, more just defensively and to be counted on, not to make mistakes. So you come here and, and I get the chance to play offense. And I think that's the biggest thing I'll take back is is uh, the confidence I have playing offensively. I mean, you've really played well for us. and. Like I know the guy, it's weird talking to you knowing that you're leaving because we really feel like you're actually a part of the team. Like we don't look at you as someone that came in, you know, NHL star here just for a little bit of time because you've stayed for the full three months and we really all do feel like you're part of the team. Do you think it would be strange now going back to your own home team and getting that going again with them, like trying to get that team bond and that networking done again? Yeah, I think, I mean, our, our, our team's not changing too much in Detroit, so... I think uh, from a standpoint of, of knowing the guys, I think it will be just kind of pick up where, where you left off, but the hockey part is going to be kind of tough. A lot of yeah. guys haven't been playing, so it's going to be a little bit for, uh, for timing and, and getting back playing the way we know we can play there. But definitely it's going to be, it's going to be weird leaving here. I uh, definitely made some good friendships. A lot of the guys, I got a lot of their numbers and stuff, so um, I'll be able to keep in contact with yeah. them. So. Definitely, I, I feel like I'm part of this team too, and, and uh, that's the way I wanted to approach it when I came here. Is you're all in. You're not just here half uh, half playing and half uh, half in. You gotta you gotta go all in and, and play hard and be a part of the team. And now that you've had time to play on the team and play in the EIHL and look at the level of hockey here, has your opinion of that level changed from when you first came, from maybe what you anticipated it to be, and now you've been in it? Yeah, I think that I didn't really have the expectations of, of really any coming in because I never have seen it or I've seen a couple of highlights on computer before I came. But um, now being here for three months and playing in it, uh, yeah, I'm definitely impressed. I think it's an up and coming league. I think uh, I think you'll see a lot more players coming over here because of the, the English speaking is, is a lot easier for some players to make that transition into hockey over here. Yeah. And if you fast forward a few years, you know, some of the guys when they retire from NHL and they go to other leagues, that kind of thing, would you recommend this league as somewhere to go for, for these guys that maybe take a step down in their career? Oh, for sure. I think it's, I think it's a great place. I, I think the biggest thing, the hardest thing for me was driving on the side, different side of the road, so, <laughs> which you kind of pick, on, pick up pretty quick. So, uh, no, it's definitely a place I would recommend for guys to come and play. Good. Well, I'm going to keep it brief because I know that you're going to have a lot of interviews to do before you leave. It's been a pleasure working with you. Um, the fans, you know, are extremely grateful for the time that they've had with you. They've enjoyed watching you play. The same with the players. Although this was your last home game tonight for the clan, you will be on the road tomorrow in Fife. So yep. anyone that wants to see you for one last time in a clan jersey can can do that. And obviously the door is never closed.
close if Drew returns home and uh, the NHL decides to stay on yeah. lockout. There, there may be a phone call and we'll, we'll yeah. see how he's doing then. So thank you on behalf of the clan organisation for your time. Well, thank you for having me too. Thanks, Drew. Thanks, Thanks guys.